look at the LinkedIn profile and your social media profile as well, because that's also very important. Yeah. How? Yeah. I mean, how important is that? I mean, a lot of people, you know, question that. I mean, how many how many of your candidates are are, are using LinkedIn? Um, um, at the moment, I think we're looking at upwards of probably eighty percent of professionals are on LinkedIn. That's really um, hard. I think a question has just popped up there, which is very relevant as well. In that, um, you know, is is has LinkedIn taken over from the CV? I think your LinkedIn profile should support your CV, but where possible, you're going to use your CV to make an application. You can put a lot more information into your actual own CV. But on the LinkedIn profile, a few things to note. Um, keep it professional. Put all your experience in as you would for your CV. Write your profile, so that little short summary at the top. Yep. Use a professional photo and do put a photo on it. It's important to have a photo on it. Um, you can tag that you're open to opportunities. And this is a great way to allow recruiters or hiring managers or HR people to actually know that you're looking for work. So you're more likely to have people contacting you if you have actually tagged that part. And, um, and Emer, just on that, sorry to interrupt, how should you deal with that kind of approach? I mean, you know, some are going to get maybe, you know, tons of emails in and others not. How do you know if it's, you know, really relevant or really important? Any, any thoughts on that? So it, it can be a nuisance. Um, us, us recruiters do get tired with that brush that we're, we're kind of can be stalking people, um, especially yeah. I think if you've got a specific niche skill set um, in technology, for example, if you've got a particular development skill that's very sought after in the market, you may find that you're inundated with, with, with emails from recruiters. So I would suggest if you're not open to opportunities, don't, don't tag that on it. But if you are, okay. what I would say is probably filter it. Your best okay. would be to choose one, maybe two specialist recruitment partners work with right. mm -hmm. um, yeah. and, and really work with them over the course of your, your job search. You don't need to engage with every single person that emails you. Um, you can respond back to them very quickly to say you're, you're, you're not interested or you're already looking at opportunities. Um, I would say find a recruiter that you feel is representing your best interests and that you can work with and you can get on with. Um, you will develop a close relationship with them through the process. So um, yeah, my advice is, is probably just to take somebody who's very much a specialist and who's known in your industry. I think you, you, someone thing you mentioned there is, is, is keywords. I've heard keywords are really important uh, so again, as well. Depends on your industry, um, but things that describe you. So if you're an accountant, you're going to put in, you know, your qualifications, if it's ACA or ACCA. Um, things like languages are actually really important. Um, right. So mm -hmm. if you're fluent in French or German or whatever, make sure you in, in, include that. Um, yes. If you've maybe had exposure to a particular type of system or software or some sort of project, anything that if you think about it, if somebody's looking to find a person with that skill, that they're going to that they're going to actually use that word to search, and that's how it works. It's going to be the artificial intelligence and the, the background in LinkedIn. That's how your profile is going to get in front of the recruiter. Okay, um, I, I know you're just going to mention about about kind of network as well, because I have a question about any other platforms. But in terms of our own network, um, colleges, schools, and things like that. Um, yeah, we can I mean, I think that, that the, the thing about LinkedIn is you can connect to as many people as you as you can. And I think it's important to connect to people from your 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 college alumni, people yeah. you've worked with, old colleagues or school schoolmates. Sure. Mm -hmm. The more people you're connected with, the the more visible your profile is. So the idea with LinkedIn is that you really do um, look at, at at using it as a tool to, to to network. It's also very beneficial if you happen to get an interview in a company. You can then look at your connections and see if there's somebody you know that works there. Give them a call. They'll give you a little bit of an inside track before you go to an interview. So it's really useful for that. In terms of other social media, um, mm, yeah. it's very you recommend? there. Keep it professional or keep it private. So always double check your, your data privacy settings. Um, excuse me, companies won't say that they will dismiss a candidate or discriminate against a candidate because of something they see that they've posted on social media. Yeah. However, yeah it can create a negative connotation um, if, if you have things up there that you're, you're maybe not so proud of. So I think probably on social media is to keep it as, as professional as possible. Um, anything that's online is obviously going to be visible by, by anybody um, looking. So I think when it comes to LinkedIn, keep it very professional. With the others, keep your data set or your privacy settings on um, unless you're keeping it very professional as well. 